Okay, we're at Jackrabbit Flats or Jackrabbit Ridge or something like that. It's where the 70 or Picacho Road coming out of Las Cruces meets with Interstate 10. And this is the frontage road. So you can kind of see where I'm at. One, one of those signs says going to El Paso and the other one's going to Dimming. I got 50 miles, I guess. Whew. It's getting hot. High is supposed to be in like the 84, 85, 86, 87 range. Got a headwind or rather maybe a south wind. Southwest, west, south, southwest, whatever. Uh, I was wore out, done uh, 45 miles or 50 miles yesterday, something like that. Didn't get here till 1 o'clock. Uh, just finished watching the, de the debate uh, between uh, Hillary and Trump. If the people get what they want, Trump will win. If the government gets what they want, Hillary will win. And that's the way it is. Made some coffee. Getting ready to head out. Ah, oh, I dread this. 50 miles of nothing on a hot day in a headwind. It don't sound like a picnic at Disneyland. Sounds a little rough. When I got here in the Las Cruces, they wouldn't give me no water. I went to like three, four, five, six places, something like that. Nobody give me any water. Just as I was fixing to come up this hill, there was a gas station and uh, not just, but a little ways before it, not very far. I told them, I said, man, I've been trying to get water ever since I got to Las Cruces. Nobody will give me any water. And he says, man, that's strange. He says, water don't cost that much. And I said, I know. But everybody gave me an excuse as to why I couldn't get any water. It was ridiculous. He says, yeah, we got water. Come on in. So I got cold water. And he gave me two hot dogs with all the fixings. And that made up for everybody telling me I couldn't have any water. The audacity of people not letting you fill up. And all I was wanting was to fill up that water bottle with water. And they wouldn't let me. Had every excuse under the sun. Hotels, uh, fast food restaurant places, everybody. Gas stations. I don't know, from here to California, it's gonna be nothing but hard times as far as people go because they're so prejudiced, you know, they just, it's uh, very, I guess, demeaning, low grading or whatever. It's, it's a real cut down to help a white person out, I guess. It's, it was like, it's like this every time I come through this area, it's ridiculous, you know? It's like, when are y'all gonna get over this crap? But yeah, very prejudiced people, extremely prejudiced people. I don't know. And there's not a lot of towns on this road anyway. You got, uh, I don't know. I'll be happy when I get to Tucson. Tucson would be nice. It'll be nice to get to Tucson, but from here to Tucson, it's probably just going to be one nightmare. I probably better go as much as I can. I don't think I'll make the 50 miles. I might make the 50 miles today, but if I do, it'll be real late at night. It's just supposed to get, like I said, in the 80s and a headwind and I don't know. I'll probably just sit under a bridge somewhere when it gets unbearable. Sit there until this evening. And uh, then take out again and ride as far as I can to get to Deming. There's a used to be a place in Deming uh, where this guy had a bunch of houses donated to him and everything and yeah, uh, people could go there and stay. They gave free food and 
They had a little church donated to them and a kitchen place, house. It was really nice. Uh, and you could just stop in there and stay as long as you wanted to. But I don't know if the guy's alive still. The last time I seen him was like 15 years ago and he had to have one of them heart shocker things that shocked his heart because his heart would kept stopping on him. But I don't know if his wife took it over or what. You look at it on the map and it looks like everything's still there. So I don't know. I'll just find out, I guess, when I get into the dimming. Uh, sure would be nice if he was there to take a break, take a few days off. You know. Sit around and do nothing. My legs are sore. They're hurting. I'm glad I got that ibuprofen. It, that really helps me out a lot. I, I shouldn't be doing it. I've got tons of weight, you know, and I shouldn't be doing big miles with a ton of weight, you know. But I can't get rid of any of it. I mean, I need everything I got. There ain't nothing that I can't, that I can part with that I know of. I don't know. I better load up on that water, too, because there ain't nothing between here and Dimming. I don't know. Look at them jagged mountains over there. Can you see them? They're weird.